All right, let's go ahead and flip over to the game screen. Ah. I need to make myself smaller. I need, I, I'll need to make a command to shrinkify and move me over, I think. Uh, I feel like I'm twisted a little bit. There we go. Now I'm standing up. Okay. Um... All right, looks like we have game sounds, but where's the music? Why is there no music? I like the music in this game. Come on, come on, dude. No. Um. Hmm. All right, so. Uh, if you don't know, and you probably don't, because Valkyrie Profile is a PlayStation 1 game. Um, this is going to be an old school JRPG, uh, very story heavy. It's going to be kind of, the combat's going to be a little bit similar to something like Legend of Dragoon, um, which I wish more combat was like that. I... I'm kind of sad that Final Fantasy's ATB gauge turn-based kind of thing won the like JRPG style war. Um, I find the combat that we're going to see in Valkyrie Profile much more engaging and much more interesting. I feel it's it has a depth and complexity that is very rewarding to learn and master, and is only made even better by the fact that every single character. Even characters that are in the same, like, weapon class have very different moves, timing of moves. Um, it's just, oh, it's, it's just great. Um, is this going to be... Right. So this is the prologue. Um, if I remember correctly, the prologue is taking place about... 15 years before the main game so it may not make a lot of sense right now I must it's, hurry but I don't want to get there scolded will be by mother payoff. again so the setting is a uh, very similar to your typical medieval fantasy it's a little bit crap sack it's a little bit um, not so not so pleasant um there's a you know war that's been brewing between some of the major nations oh i'm sure uh, a couple people in suits uh they're they're probably just fine I, i'm so sorry your clothes are they oof watch where you're going girl how dare you splash water on a guest? Yeah, not a... not a great parent. Forgive me. Mother, who were those men? I'm sure they're no one. It's fine. It's none of your business. You have work to do now. Hurry up and grab your bucket. But... but I have my bucket. I just... Oh, come on, ma! How much more water do we need? Like, even though this game released in, like, 1999, um... The art is still so Lucian? beautiful. Lucien? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? Shh! Be quiet! Latina, uh, we've got to run. Come now, hurry. I mean, I feel like we're a little too young to elope, Lucian. What are you talking about, Lucian? Listen to me. Your mother and father, they... Yes, yes, what'd they, they do? They sold you. Oh, fuck. You little thief! What are you doing to my daughter? Liberating her, woman! Come on!
I mean, they're first story houses. It's not hard to like lean in on the window. All right, now we're making our way through the woods. I'm sure this is fine. Uh, Lucian, you do have a goal of where Lucian, we're heading, I, right? I want to go home. You do know where you're going, right, How can right, you say Lucian? that? I haven't heard anything from Mother about this. Uh, Platina, I really don't think Are your you mom... Are you sure this isn't all a misunderstanding about being sold? Yeah, I'm sure those people with the dark sunglasses and the cloaks were uh pretty good She must be so worried about people. me right now. Oh. Oh, Platina. Lucian. You've seen the men in black, haven't you? The men in They've black. They've come to my house too. Ooh. And the next day, my little sister was gone. Something tells me Platina is too innocent for the world. My yeah. mom and dad didn't tell me anything. What? But everyone said she was stricken with a disease. The disease of being sold. Oh? Yikes. Have you ever heard of a disease that makes you disappear? Anyway, our family has no money for doctors. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty, pretty crap sack. Um, poor Lucy. I just don't want to lose you. Aw, got that, got that Lucian. childhood budding romance. Then let's run away, far away. I'll go anywhere with you, Lucian. <laughs> Aww. You're cold, Platina. Take my jacket. And then obviously they go off to live happily ever after. That's definitely how these stories go. It's so nice uh, walking through a forest like this, though, with uh, the tall trees. Yeah, but maybe it needs some more, like, leaves. It, it seems very ominous when they're blank like that. Where do that. you think we are? I don't know. Unfortunately, Lucien's not much of a what navigator. What will become of us now? Still walking through the darkness, running away, just two little kids. Just hoping Lucien is a good guy. Hmm. Navigational skills concern me secondarily. <laughs> ah, there we Where? go. Now we're getting some of that music. It's so beautiful. Do you think this might be... Heaven? Maybe a bit of, uh, heaven on Earth. Just it's bad luck to say such things. <laughs> I'm sorry. These flowers, they are... Well, looks like Lucian, while he may not be a navigator, he is an herbalist. Latina, we've got to get out of here. These flowers, all of them, they're... They're... Weeping lilies. Oh, that's, uh, that's not a good, uh, that's a little Weeping ominous. Weeping lilies? That's right. If we stay here, their poison will kill us. Uh, hmm... Lucian, uh, Latina. my dude. If I were to fall asleep here, would I be able to just slip away? 
Oh, jeez. What? I can't stand it any longer, no matter how hard I've tried. Mother and father have never treated me with kindness. If you care about me so much, Lucian, do you think? Poor Platina. She just wants some. Do you to think care. we might be reborn? That we might be reborn together? I'm so glad to have known you, Lucian, but I have too many awful memories. Oof. <sighs> yeah, just, uh... I just want to forget, forget it all. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think Latina... I don't think she's doing so hot. No! Wake up! I won't have it! You want to forget? Would you forget me too, Platina? Apparently, Lucian has a bit more tolerance to the Weeping Lilies. But Platina... Not so much. Alright, we don't need to watch the opening movie. As uh, very 90s anime-esque as it is, uh, and it's quite, quite fun, uh, maybe... I'll maybe have that somewhere else. Let's go ahead and start the game. Now, this game does have multiple endings, as is for JRPGs of its time or want to have. Um, I guess technically you can get the true ending on normal. We're going to be playing on hard. Um, there's a few reasons for this. One, uh, the fact that everyone actually starts at, level, starts at level one is actually a benefit. Um, in a few ways. There are all the characters and all of the dungeons. Um, I'm going to try... We're go I'm not going to try. I will be getting all the characters. Um, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try and cycle through all of them just so I can show as many off as possible. Um, because they are really great. Um, again, this is, a, this is an OG JRPG. It is very heavy on the story and uh there is a pretty wide cast of characters we're going to be picking up i'm gonna go ahead and hit start because the the time from start game until the first save point is a bit long <laughs> Seems we start at a church with the bells ringing. Ah, those old rendered cutscenes. Ah. Uh. Unfortunately, Oh, oh, I guess I'm a little early. Seems the bride is left at the altar. Or is simply reminiscing. Who's to say? Perhaps it is simply thoughts of what might have How been. Nostalgic.
this is one of the downsides. Is, uh, it is very pretty, but it is also equally unskippable. <laughs> so, Valkyrie Profile has been released, re-released in a few ways. Um, you know, there's the original Japanese localization. Um, the English one is actually updated in many ways. There are some bugs that are not present, and it actually takes advantage of L2 and R2, which the original Japanese release uh, doesn't for some reason. Um, there's additionally a PSP release, uh, which changes some of the cutscenes for, like, CGI, but in my opinion, um, I, th I think the original cutscenes of the PlayStation 1 version are better and fit the theme. Uh, we are playing the uh, English PlayStation 1 version of this. Um, so we're not going to be seeing any of those CGI cutscenes. I heard there was also a mobile release under the title Valkyrie Profile Leneth. Uh, Leneth being the Valkyrie's uh, name. I don't know how you... I mean, I guess technically. It could be a mobile game. It... I don't know. I can't imagine playing this on a mobile uh, phone. It just baffles me. Now we have control of our character for like five Welcome seconds. Welcome to Valhalla. Now as you can see... You seem as if you're waiting for someone. We do have Norse-ish. Of course. I've been waiting for you, Leneth. I've been waiting since my sister Freya told me you were coming back. So while you may see some Has it been that long? characters Are you're you familiar well? with in Norse mythology, things start getting a little yes! weird beyond just the names. Oh, Lord Odin is waiting for you within. Of course. We will speak later, Frey. Most of it is going to be voice, but eventually we'll get to sections without it, and I will do my best. Ah, that's so bright! Damn it, Odin! Why did you turn down the lights? Jeez, dude! I wonder if uh, Odin thinks highly of themselves. That is a hell of a throne chair. I am here, Lord Odin, at your service. Stand, Lenin. You're not Odin. You have no need to kneel before us like a dweller in Midgard. I understand. No, we need you to overstand. We just, we literally just talked about this, Lennis. I rejoice to see you again. You have been missed. And you. Lenneth Valkyrie. I would not summon you, the greatest of the three goddesses who govern destiny, without good cause. I believe the others yes, is Chris and... The head of Mimir has told me that Ragnarok, S the end of Silmaria? the world, was near. It's been a minute. I'm a little hazy on my Ragnarok. Norse mythology. Uh, Ragnarok. There have been signs of unrest among the Vanir of late. So this is where things get a little it weird. It seems that we, the Aesir, will not be able to avoid war with them. Because, according to a some Norse mythology, we require warriors. Aesir and the Vanir, like, you basically joined together to by Odin marrying Freya. And Freya, if I remember souls. correctly, is actually uh, Vanir. I 
don't remember the distinction honor, Lord, between the Aesir and the Vanir in Norse mythology. I expect great things from you. Very well then. Freya? Yes, my lord. Ah, let's get our fucking equipment. Here we go! To war! I will join you on your journey down, but I must return before long. Obligatory overpowered you have tutorial but assistance. Awakened, and it would be unkind of me to send you alone. Yeah, it's like uh, Odin thinks they're the head of the gods or something. Sheesh. This is the human world? Yes, the lower world of Midgard where souls wander about, locked in cages of flesh. Does it remind you of anything? Not particularly. I've never seen this world before. I see. Hmm, curious. I'm sure that, I'm sure that, that means nothing. That's just a random, random statement. Don't need to worry about it. Then let us go. Go where? It is time for me to teach you about who you are and what your role is. Wama, wama. Do you hear something? What do you mean? You have a power that is yours alone. Close your eyes and open your heart. Concentrate and listen. You will understand. Like someone's having a bad time. Because you can tell what you have. You're wrong. Yeah. Ah, we're going to Artolia first. Yes. Do you hear it? What is this? That is your power. The power to hear the sorrow. Anger and hopes of humans near death. The power to hear their souls cry out. It is your task to take the souls of those chosen departed within yourself. I'm to search amongst the souls of those departed? For those worthy to become heroes? Yes, that is why... That is why what? Let us go. If we go even closer, you'll be able to synchronize your soul with theirs. Then you will understand more. Human souls? Take them into myself? All right. Now we're getting some backstory. Andrim, help them out when it wants you. Uh, pretty boy axe person right there. His beast is tough. Ah. Nuisance. Out of my way. Yeah, this guy is very, uh, if you've ever seen Berserk, uh, Arngrim is very guts-coated. Let me assist you. Alright. 
Now this is what I mean about combat being kind of like Legend of Dragoon. As you can see, our characters, you know, we have our X and square buttons. Um, basically, pressing that button attacks with them. Unfortunately, this is the start of the game, so they each only have one attack. But they can get up to three. And each attack is a different timing. Ah, damn combo guard. There we go. Alright, just a, just a smidge of combat taste. Taking out a harpy, no big deal. Although for, despite Arngrim's, uh, rough exterior. Welcome home, brother. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah, just sit down. It's also kind of funny how Arngrim has, like, red eyes. Makes him, kind of makes him seem like an evil guy. Still drawing that stuff. Art is more than that stuff. If you can't sell it, what's the point? I don't do it for money. Hmm. Whatever. Brother, it's different. Different than war where you just kill people. What? I don't fight for money. I'm a mercenary because I enjoy it. Same as you, right? He just, he just likes killing, and uh, for no particular reason, you know, uh, help helping out his his brother. I don't give a damn about expressing myself or whatever. Say, Roland, what's fun about making art anyway? You think it's foolish, brother, because you're content with what you have. For me, drawing has always been a way for me to escape the confines of this frail body of mine. I'm sorry, brother. I know that part of the reason you fight is to support me. I'll leave the money here. That statue? That's a present from His Highness. They give it to the guy who kills the most people in battle. <laughs> mm. Princess? It's unseemly for such a lovely young princess who will one day rule the country to lose her temper in such a disgraceful manner. Silence, Lambert! I will not stand here silently and accept abuse from the likes of you! We cannot allow such behavior from a boorish mercenary! Princess Yolanda! You need not concern yourself with regards to this matter, Princess. I will take care of everything. She's got a, a bit of a temper and a hell of a forehead. <laughs> oh, the, we got the old bratty princess to the tea. Thanks to your meritorious efforts, the Barbarians have been driven back. I salute you all! And among you, I believe, is the greatest warrior of all, Sir Arngrim. <clears throat> to you, I present a cash bonus and this statue. Your mercenary taste is no different than that of a barbarian. Uh, 
How delightful. I thank you from the bottom of the gaping void of my soul. You think this makes everything all right? No, that's right, those are internal thoughts. This cheap little statue's nothing but a lie. It's not even made out of granite, it's just normal soapstone. <laughs> You're such a feeble little king. Uh, what? What are you... I don't have time for this farce. This statue looks a lot like you, don't you think? Huh? Father? Don't waste my time with this crap. You ungrateful brute! To subject my father to such barbarism! 10,000 deaths are not enough for you! Gods, take him! Yeah, yeah, try and stop this dude. What are you doing? He's literally got a reward for killing the most people, Jolanda. Can't ever get lout. There must be some way I can get him. Let me think. I've got it. I could talk to my brother. Oh. Just sit down and relax. Let me get the door. Ah, mysterious person who's definitely never seen before and have no idea who it could possibly be. Do you want something? Aren't you, I mean, might you be Sir Odd Grim? Yeah, that's right. I am... I mean... My name is... Uh... Ch Chilla... Chilla? Yeah, 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 I mean, uh... No, ch uh... Mm, uh... Ah... Uh, uh, mm. My name is Angela. <laughs> great, great save there. <laughs> Both of them are just kind of like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. And what do you want from me, Lady Angela? I came to offer you a job. Are you serious? You've got time. Why not talk to her, brother? <sighs> so, where are we going? Let's go to, uh, one of those, uh, restaurants. Do you know of any fine establishments? Well, this place over here is about as fine as it gets in Artolia. Nanlao Garden. The only gourmet Yamato-style restaurant in Artolia. Its promise to the citizens of the continent is a taste of experience many Westerners find rather bizarre. It does feel ironic for a Japanese company to make a European-based setting and then reference themselves as being exotic. May I take your order? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see, I'll take this, and this, and this, and one of those, and ooh, that wine looks delicious. And what would you like to drink? Um, this, and uh, ooh, one of these. Hey, are you really gonna eat all that? Well, why would I? I'll just have what I want and leave the rest. 
Okay, I'll be right back with your order. So, uh, Angela, what was it you wanted to hire me for? Why don't we talk while we eat? All right, how's your food? Is everything great? Call your manager. Huh? I said, call your manager. Don't act like such a <sighs> spoiled little princess. Is this something not to your liking? Not to my liking, you say? What is this meat? It's raw! It's fucking raw! <laughs> but miss, that is called sashimi. It is classic Yamato cuisine. And what's this cloudy soup? It smells awful. It must be rotten. Hey, don't you diss that miso soup. Miss, that's an absolute staple of Yamato cuisine. Miso soup. And what about this? It's a monster! You're trying to make me eat baby krakens? But, miss, that's that's just plain octopus. Ah! Spin! You serve monsters here? Mmm, delicious monster meat. Nom, 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 nom. Look, don't knock Kraken until you tried it, all right? You know, they're, they're pretty big. It's kind of hard to get them. They tend to destroy, like, entire armadas. But it's just, mmm, chicken of the sea. Definitely what they call it. I assure you, miss. I have never been so insulted in my entire life. Ah, now my throat is parched. What kind of water is this? Are you trying to poison me? How dare you! 10,000 deaths are not enough for you! Flump. <laughs> uh, I guess she could not handle her sake. Now you want to try some Kraken? It is pretty nice. Your bill, sir? And just like a princess, she sticks the others with the bill. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Um, use memory card too. Now, that is one nice feature. Even though we don't have an official save point until much later, we can only save during this, like, post pre pro, pre pre tutorial log. So this happened before you could hear what she wanted? Yeah. Sorry about that. Mm. Uh. Ugh! It's the princess! P princess J Jolanda? Ugh. The fucking surprise face. What's going on? Well, I know she came here in disguise to hire me for a job. Kinda creepy to just be watching her sleep. Uh, she's very proud. Uh, huh? Talking in her sleep, eh? Uh, it's creepy, but there is no TV. <laughs> yeah, uh, Middle Ages, not known for their TV. Foul Oathbreaker. 10,000 deaths, not enough for you. Really like that 10,000 deaths insult, huh?
So that's it. I understand now. I insulted that girl's father right in front of her. Of course, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to? Um, Arthur? I just wanted to show what a gutless coward the king is. <laughs> I didn't want to insult him. I just, you know, wanted to call him a gutless coward. What I did wasn't wrong. <laughs> but. Arngrim, captain of taking. Uh, my daughter can't help but love and honor her own father. Captain of taking responsibility for his actions here. <laughs> is there any child that would not feel anger at seeing their sire made a fool of? I mean, maybe when your father is the king. I feel like a lot of peasants didn't exa won't have exactly stellar parents. Where am I? Oh, it's already evening. Yeah, it is. I have to go. Uh, uh, is it okay if I come back tomorrow to make my offer? Yeah, sure. A job offer, huh? Probably some sort of revenge for what I did to her father. When she comes tomorrow, I'll apologize to her. Yeah, light. So, what's your offer this time? It's short notice, but I need you to help with another man deliver. What? Give me a break, you're wasting my time for what? Come on, the pay is top price, so will you take it? Dangerous cargo, eh? Well, I'll take it, but I want 5,000. My price is doubled. Fine, it's a deal. You serious? Well, you say so. By the way, who's the other guy you got me teamed up with? You'll meet soon enough. <clears throat> I don't know what that guy's up to. As long as I get my money, I could care less. Alright, I think it was fairly close to what his voice was gonna be. The next day. Dawn of the next day. The princess isn't coming, is she? Probably not. But if you think about the princess being out of the castle... Yeah, I suppose. She keeps sneaking out. She's going to get her attendants executed. Yeah... Yeah, think of the poor attendants and the servants. Some conversationalist. Let's continue on. Now it's time for Arngrim to wander around the city. Um... All right, the chapel. I don't think we're gonna get married. I wonder if we can maybe eat some more, uh, eat some more Kraken, maybe? Good day! Nope, guess not. We will be coming back to Artolia. Oh, that's not right. Um, so that's my house, Main Street. No, that's Arngrim's house. Uh, whoops. 
Where do I go? Private residence? Just barging into people's houses? Nope. Ah, here's the tavern. The other day I opened up a treasure chest and some poison gas shot out at me. Luckily I was crouching down, so I didn't do anything except give me a big scare. Nope. I believe we have to go back to our house now. The idea is like we gotta run around for a bit, we pass some time. And go back in. And the agent should be there? Yeah. Brother, you have a visitor. Need to speak with you. Ah, oh, right. Right. Angela. Ah, ah. Is this about a job? Yeah. Did you take it? I leave tomorrow morning. You'll be alone for a few days. What about the princess? Canceled, probably. Damn, they canceled the princess. Whoa, this is something of a surprise. My partner's gonna be you then? Eh. Aw, oh, don't give me that. Name's Batarak. Nice to meet you, Angram. I've heard all about you. If you must engage in such meaningless banter, do it on the road. This cargo must be delivered. Yes, ma'am. Vilnor was about a week's journey away along the Great Road. But the journey was uneventful, and by the third day we were halfway there. All right. Making some pretty good time. I'm getting plenty of money for this job, so who really cares about what's in this thing? Yeah, Mr. Bodyguard. Ellipsis. Ugh, that Lombard. Lombard? Atolius Chief Counselor? You mean it wasn't the agent who hired us? Hey, bodyguard. Something's coming up behind you. What? Knights. And a lot of them. Knights. The dust looked to have been kicked up by a group of Altorian cavalry. Ah, shit. It seemed like they were chasing something. I never imagined it was us. What a twist! Halt! Surrender your cargo for inspection. Hey, hold up! When I think about it now, I What's never in the box? should have agreed to take that package without knowing what was inside. What could it possibly it be? just wasn't like me. What's in a wonder box? Who knows what surprises the cargo may be inside? These are the ones! Let's get out of here. Hey, hold on a sec! What? The princess! What a twist! Our parcel? No wonder she didn't show up. It was that little tomboy princess. I don't know Jolanda. if you could call her a tomboy. She does not give tomboy energy. She just gives princess energy. Looks like we'll have to wait till night and run. Ellipsis. <laughs> Damn that Lombard, you totally screwed this. You filthy, you knew? No, I didn't know what was in the damn thing. It's just that my 
uh, client was lumber, like always, and, uh... Did those soldiers know that Lombert? Yeah? No way, can't be. Guy's a Vilnor spy, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, everyone knows he's, you know, he works for Vilnor. What? Nobody's supposed to know what was in the thing, man. Vilnor got their hands on the princess, they'd have her totally on the palm of their hand. I'd have been quite happy to kill a stinking knave. But I've got more important things to do. Yeah, Badrack just wants the money. He just wants a couple dollars. was unconscious, the captain told us to give her this medicine that he got from Lombard. Isn't that the princess? Lombard was playing two hands. He knew the abduction would be discovered, so he sent some medicine along with the search party. Fucking gotta give Lombard one thing. If he made it all the way He's to uh, doing Lombard, good. No but if we were discovered, the cavalry would use the medicine. Either way, the Artolian princess is out of the Only picture. The princess would be unconscious if she was found. The medicine's effect was as you see. The princess became a monster, and afterwards all were dead. Yeah, the, uh... Certainly was not a potion of beautification. Princess. That's exactly when somebody drinks ghoul powder. Ghoul powder? Yeah. Turns a person into a howling demon. Necromancers use all the they use the stuff all the time. Robert is a necromancer? Spooky! Angela. Angela? You mean Jolanda? What are you talking about? It's time we get back to Artolia. I'm gonna get out of here. See ya! Maybe he made the right choice. I don't know. But I wasn't going to run. Arngrim's got a sword. And he's gonna swing it. Lombert! I'm going to kill you. Fucking Lombert! All my homies hate Lombert. But what will become of Jolanda? All right, foul demon. Stop! That's... Human, life is not something to be thrown away. If you are a true warrior, you will find your path in the maelstrom of battle. The battle maiden, maiden Valkyrie? Who hadn't heard the tales? Valkyrie in the flesh! Or Ectoplasm? Oh no! Like they kind of straddle the line of existence. Come to me, Dark Warriors. Battle awaits us. Armgard getting blasted. All right, we open with Freya. She's 
does have a magic attack, which basically uh, breaks the enemy's guard. Now, if this were, like, trying to be a very optimal speedrun kind of thing, um, damage actually has a little bit of a variance in how it's calculated. And it's possible to get a two cycle. But you basically have to have everyone deal max damage. Or two cycle, three cycle. Oh, hey! That kind of worked! Usually there's like a little bit left, and you need one more hit from Freya. Presumably the Valkyrie is like, anyway, Arngrim deuces, I'm out. Pleasure. But this was different. This is revenge. Is foolish, brother, because you're content with what you have. You're wrong. It was through others' misfortune that I felt myself to be strong. Well, that's kind of grim, Arngrim. That's right. I who was myself without morals. I mean, at least I you're self-aware. Others. And at that who time, I to look down on them. Arngrim's the heart justice. grew three sizes that day. I began to realize that the king and I were very much the same. I mean, you don't have a statue of yourself, so I mean, I feel like the king's got a little bit of a one-up on you. Now you gotta imagine, uh, considering the Valkyrie is gathering the souls of the departed, uh, necromancers are not the best people. Oh, I thought you might show up sooner or later. You really should have just run away. It'll avail you nothing to cause a disturbance here, young man. Maybe not, but I'll sure as hell avail me to smash your face in. I see. Ongrim, you may be a genius on the battlefield, but when it comes to the higher arts, you know little. You realize you are already dead. Oh, oh my Elwin Shadero. What? Magic, Ongrim? <laughs> Let me show you. Jolanda certainly had a uh, 180 on him. Do you think he might be saved? Uh, I, I... By being allowed to continue to live, or by being chosen by me? <laughs> That's a hell of a question. <laughs> Yet one thing does strike me as odd. I'd have believed it if you ran away, but... Could a human really have defeated a ghoul? I can't imagine. That's him! That's the man who betrayed me! Just fucking, uh... Soy pointing. That guy! What? Ah, now I understand. We have a little conspiracy here, don't we? Conspiracy? Ha! I hear you're the expert on that subject. Defiler of souls, your sins lay heavy upon you. Come to me, Dark Warriors. Battle awaits us. Now we beat the shit out of this guy. Apparently, he can teleport, too. It's a little bit extra to have 
so many uh, things be actual combat battles. It is a very long tutorial prologue. <laughs> Prepare yourself, rebel scum! <laughs> Slipshod soldiers think they can call me rebel scum? Then they know I just saved them from Vilnor? Look, friend, don't expect me to do you any favors. I'm not going to die. I guess they don't have much use for heroes with true strength up in Asgard, eh? <laughs> Talking, uh, talking a lot of shit there for someone who is in the presence of a Valkyrie. Vainglorious human, strength is not everything. <clears throat> You're one to talk, death, death goddess. Impudent fool. Valkyrie is not a goddess of the dark. Such words will result in your certain death. Oh, right, that was Jolanda's voice. Ah. Angela? Eh? You... You knew? <laughs> I see. So you're safe, little one. Hold on a second, I gotta, I gotta stab this guy. <laughs> okay, what were, we, what were we talking about? I have one question. Aren't you just a death goddess? A god of death is merely responsible for the snuffing out of lives. I, however, can show you the path. Path? Yes. However, you must walk it on your own. Stop this pointless slaughter! Old man. Ongrim, will you truly raise arms against me? Do I have any regrets? No. I imagine that looked very strange from the guard captain's perspective. Like he walks in after Arngrim just like Why slaughtered a platoon. Me? And then he just stabs himself. Consider it a gift. It seems we'll be spending quite a bit of time together. Ah, shit! Oh, can, can you actually send me on? Does, little one. Quite a bit indeed. No. Arngrim's definitely the asshole with a heart of gold kind of thing. Let's, uh, let's just not think about Arngrim's brother, though. Uh, certainly no possible ramifications from his brother murdering a bunch of people and being blamed for the death of the princess and the death of an important minister for the king. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put that on a shelf and we'll forget about it. Hate can be a cruel mistress. What is it? Nothing. Uh, let's take leave of here. Next? Yes. Even the strongest steel must first be tempered, yes? To send them to Asgard directly would only be a death sentence. Concentrate once again. You should be able to feel the presence of the undead as well. So we fought our characters. Now we need to find our dungeons. Artolian Mountain. Yes, I feel them. They are nearby. Let us go and see. <clears throat> oh. yeah. I sense an enemy. Yes, there is one. An undead. 
Lenith, are you ready? I can accompany you through this ruin, but when you leave this place, I must return to Asgard. Yes. Look at this, Lenith. That is the memory camp. <laughs> I think you understand, but eating souls is a desecration of the dead. Having mercy on the undead is useless. Enough. Let's go. It's funny because our main enemies are not just going to be undead. It's also going to be various ah! monsters and things like that. Uh, the triangle? Yeah. Go ahead and save. Alright, um, let's check our party. Um, so at this point we could make like a bunch of items, just because, uh, uh, they, like, there's, you know, certain weaknesses, um, the, the, Item system in this game is interesting. So basically we have a number of points that we can spend to get items either at one of these save points or during the overworld. And then those items themselves can be uh, transmuted into other items. And we will actually get an upgraded version of the transmute at, an, at, at a certain point. Uh, but I really like the combat in this game, so we're actually going to be minimizing our item usage. Um, let me see if we got any equipment worth getting for now. Um, so as you can see, our stats, like weapons have interesting stats. You can see that they have the 1, 2, and 3, because you can have up to 3 attacks. But not all weapons, like it's not sequential. So, like, this Viking sword has the third attack, whereas the antler sword only has the first attack. Um, and, like, if it has, like, one and two, like, if it has multiple selected, you can actually uh, go into the character themselves. If I can remember right. No, I think it's equipment. Change. Ah, what is it? Or is it skill? Mmm, ability. There we go. So, in ability, if they have multiple attacks, we can basically cycle it. So, like, there are some characters that their second or third attack is better or can be comboed differently. And you may want to put it in a different, you know, order of operations. Because, the like... They do their attacks whenever you press the button, so you can really be flexible in how you combo the enemies. And that can matter a lot, because there are really uh, three major things when it comes to comboing the enemies. Um, actually, I would say there's four major attributes. So the first one, um, in some of those tutorial battles, you may have noticed like the enemies sometimes are guarding. And you can break that guard by basically having multiple attacks land at the same time. Um, you can... Uh, whenever you're comboing an enemy on the ground, they will drop um, items. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll see that later. It didn't happen in the previous tutorial. In the next fights, if I get it to happen, I'll point it out. Um, but comboing enemies on the ground and in the air um, can have certain things drop. And then the final thing to keep in mind is the number of hits... Um, is factored into the damage calculation. So, uh, often you have a mix of attacks that deal a bunch of low damage attacks, but drive the combo counter up. And then you have other characters that might have large single hit attacks, and you want those to be last in your combo cycle um, for maximum effectiveness. Um, do I want Freya in the back? Yes. We'll leave that like there. Um... It is, like, the damage calculation is a bit weird in the game. Honestly, it's pretty forgettable. Um, the biggest thing to keep in mind is weaknesses and level. Those are the two biggest things that factor into damage. Stats, like, very minimal. 
to fight the enemy, face and brandish your face the face your enemy and brandish a sword. Any contact means a fight, but you never know who will be first. Yes, yes, yes. So one thing I like is that combat is not random. Enemies are on the field and you strike them. Like this. To my side, my, my noble, noble I'm Harry. Hmm. These beasts will be a good test. Yeah. As you can see, we can miss. All right, so that little item that dropped—that's what I was talking about. For um, things can drop when you combo. Uh, those big crystals are basically increased well experience. Done, so, like, for every one of the big crystals that drops, we get like a. 5% experience boost. Um, and as you can see, the enemy's gone. So, with the exception of one exploit, you are limited. You, ha you do basically have a hard cap on the amount of experience you can get. Let's check out the contents of that bag. It's possible there could be something usable inside. Now, if we didn't want to fight the enemy, we have a crystal. We just freeze him. Ah, we found an Eye of Heaven. But we want to maximize our experience. Let's go ahead and kill this side, schmuck. Uh-oh, we may be in trouble. Yeah! Ooh, and now our sword. ultimate attacks. Divine Assault. <laughs> you have no hope of survival. So, in addition to um, attacks building up a combo meter, there is that meter in the bottom left. And if that fills up to 100, we get the ability to basically use a kind of limit break kind of thing. And then if that limit break fills it up again, we can do another limit break. And so you can kind of chain your limit breaks for lots and lots of damage. One day I must face Brahms. That's kind of a weird voice line to play. Yeah! As you can see, the enemy did not respawn. We can do a little power slide. I don't know how I avoided that guy. It seemed like I bounced off them. Oh, I turned around fast enough. Interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of this person. To my side, my noble I'm Ooh. Instead of a, a zombie, we have a gas. And those purple gems are the other thing. So our ultimate attacks, as well as casters, uh, basically get those little orbs that um, prevent them from doing any other actions. Or if we have done an ultimate attack, well, and we like have some exhaustion, and you need to have zero to be able to cast spells or to use your ultimate attack. Um, and that's what air combos help uh, recover faster. Alright, now that we got that key, we can go through that door. Lenith, I think you can use that key here. Please take a look at those iron bars. Yeah, apparently, even though we can teleport and go insubstantial, uh, we can't just, like, float through these iron grates. We actually have to find a key to walk through them. When there are different levels, such as ladders and stairs, you can climb down or leap down. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Go away, Freya. We got some people to kill. I pressed the wrong button again. Fight me! Fight me, you monster! To my side, my noble Einherjar. Oh, we got two ghasts this time. These beasts will be a good test. It shall be engraved upon All right, we're gonna fuck soul. this guy up. Divine assault. Nibelung Balesti. Get out of here, you gas. You miss, buddy. Does he still have health left? That's dumb. <laughs> Let's just make sure he's extra super dead. <laughs> that was too easy. What's next? Cool guy Arngrim over here with a giant fuck off sword. Oh, I thought there was an item there for some reason. Alright. That's right. Ice crystal tutorial. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, this is where it tells us how to use crystals to freeze an enemy. Um, we need to go right. Wait, what's down here first? Ha! An enemy! To my side, my noble Einherjar. It's a monkey! Uh -oh. It's a pongo. Alright. Dang it. It shall be engraved upon your soul. Divine assault. Nima Maybe it's air combos that drop experience shards. I might be mixing them up. Is your fate. It's kind of hard to get air combos with this team. Easy work for a god. <laughs> Easy work for a god. Ease, Leneth. Humble brag much? To my side, my noble Einherjar. Ah, triple gas. No now, mercy. see, how do I do it? In addition to the normal combat, you can actually specifically use spells. The thing is, is if we cast them like that, we can't combo with them. Damn it. I was hoping that would knock him up. So I think what we need to try and time it is Jolanda's Firestorm to knock them up into the air, and then we can try and hit them before they finish falling back to the ground. It's gonna be kind of hard, because Lennis has a short sword. What is this guy doing on a boat? To my side, my noble Ooh, no lesser vampires. That's right, they're lesser vampires. Definitely not zombies. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That was a nice combo. And we'll just have Freya blast someone. Ooh, nice. Ooh, now they've both fainted. Damn. Didn't get the combo close enough. Alright, we'll go ahead and just end turn manually. Yeah, I didn't think so. Their 
their souls have been released. Kinda have to get them we in no a staggered to state to knock stuff out of them. Which is why opening with magic casters is so useful. Um, I see. Hmm. Ah. All right, I got an idea. It's just crazy enough to wear. Easy. Well, that was awkward. Fucking blew up in my face. And now we have an elemental scepter, so we got that going for us. Yeah, breaking the crystals. Uh, the crystals are going to be used for a lot of puzzling. In various ways. Uh, the crystals breaking into pieces themselves, side, as no platforms, um, as that little glittering gold dust um, that you may have noticed falling whenever uh, they're broken. Nah, mess up the combo. It's going to be a while before we have some of the characters I am better with. Although, one of the reasons that it's so hard to get the, the good ending without knowing about it... What? Why didn't my people attack? Oh, he's in the rear! I see. That was a mistake. Um, one of the best characters... Uh, you kind of have to do something that no one really wants to do with the best characters. You basically have to get rid of them. <laughs> it's frustrating. They are also a really cool person. Alright, nothing hidden. Where does this door lead? Ah, seems to be some sort of prison. Ah, oh, there's a couple, a couple zombies in this prison. Will be a good test. Damn, messed up my timing. I need to wait a little bit longer before firestorming, or a little bit longer after firestorming. What I need is more units who can knock up. Their souls have been released. Because right no now, I only had Jolanda. But the thing is, is I need to wait a turn for her to be able to cast spells again. Fox Glove. Fire Lance. Alright, a book of spells. Yes, yes, yes. You can get books, you learn things, you can learn spells, yada yada, yada yada. More importantly, um, the books can be transmuted into different elements. Uh, the transmute ability is very powerful, and it lets you get access to very useful traits and spells um, before you would find them normally in the game. So we're going to be actually collecting a lot of stuff that we won't use immediately. But it will be an advantage later. Game? Come on, game. There we go. Uh, did we go... Okay, we came from... I think we came from here. Let's look to the left. Ha! Aha! Battle! Too you must purify this place of evil. Hmm. These beasts will be a good test. Yeah! <laughs> 
Ooh, it dropped an item. Prepare to be cleansed. Divine Go ahead and assault. see her special. <laughs> Ether strike. Yeah, I think that monkey's fucked. <laughs> I am Freya. Recall the name on your journey to hell. Man, sent them straight sent them straight to hell. That monkey did a fucking, like, Superman punch right there. Alright. Hey, we got two crystals out of that. Alright! Finishing strike. Final blast. That didn't seem like a final blast. That seemed like I final blast. Like, plural. Where are you storing all those explosives, Arngrim? That was a little, that was a little extra. That was too easy. What's next? Hey, we gotta level up, baby! Oh, we got a normalize. I believe normalize is basically... Um... Yeah, it, it, it's basically the, uh, remove status effect ability. Now the thing is, is casters can't normally do the uh, finishing move. They need to have a rod that lets them do great magic. Oh shit! Enemies from the skies! Um, unfortunately, in the early games, the only thing we have is that elemental scepter. The thing is, is that it has a chance to break. So, we're not going to be using that for now. I could, like, reload because the breaking is not guaranteed, but I don't, I don't think it's worth it. We won't need to use great magic for a while. My Nolarine Heria! This won't be easy. Yeah! There we go! Two experience. Now, I'm not gonna go out of my way to like really min max the amount of experience we get. Just kind of a. to a reasonable extent. There's also an exploit that we won't take advantage of um, that would let us. Basically, farm infinite experience. It's really, the, the the way the game usually curves out is, you know, we a little weak in the beginning. Um, in the mid game, there will be a spike where we get very powerful. But then by the end game, everything equalizes again. So I'm not really going to be stressing too much about levels. Like, it's even though this is hard mode, it's not that difficult. Oh, wow! Gee, who could have expected this? And then... A trap! Uh, hold on, I gotta... You can actually pick up a throw chest. Uh, you can throw trap chests, but um, it has a chance of breaking the item inside. Oh, it's just an angel curio. Oh well. That's it. 
Thankfully, we don't take fall damage. So we can just... We can just slide on down, baby. Easy. Now, if I was really good, like, task level good, we could get super fast movement by basically freezing enemies, jumping on them, and then immediately sliding off. No mercy for the monkeys. Prepare to be Finish him off, Freya. Divine assault. Ether strike. I am Freya. Recall. Name on your journey to hell. Damn, Freya. We got no chill. Yeah. All right, so he's, he's stunned. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah. Dang it. Um. We'll ever finish him off. You have no hope of survival. GG easy. Get out of here, monkeys. As expected, we are the victors. Was there ever any doubt? Alright, now let me get rid of that. I think we can topple this pillar. Lenith, go ahead and try. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. So if we got if we had gone to an upper path before coming down here, there would have been this pillar blocking us. You can also gain experience points from special actions, but do not occur in the course of battle. Those experience points can be saved up in the experience orb and freely given out to any of the heroes. That's one of the reasons why starting at level one is actually not as big of a deal as you might think because you basically get a resource to freely spend experience points as you play um, and if you wanted to truly min max uh, because it's sort of like Pokemon in that when you level up uh, you're not guaranteed to increase on all stats, or it's side, like Pokemon, uh, area. Fire Emblem. Like, you know how Fire Emblem, you have a so random chance on level up to get an increase in a stat? Well, um, there is a manipulation to guarantee basically all stats increase. Um, I'll probably do it once just to show it off, but it is a little bit too tedious to be doing for every tiny level up. You miss me, vampire! Damn it. Did not knock anything loose out of him. Shucks. Well done, everyone! Alright, alright, alright. Vegetable seed. All right, we're down here. Yeah, this pillar would have been in our way uh, before we knocked it down. Always check up. Ah. 
kind of a rude explosion, but okay. Come over here, and a big explosion. All right, sucks to be me. Kind of rude. Whee! Treasure search. All right, that's kind of useless, actually. But I think we can transmute that. No, we cannot. Maybe we need something more advanced. Maybe we need the upgrade to be able to transmute it. I'm pretty sure. Alright. We got this guy. Ah, shit. I think he walked into me. To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. No Alright, we're good. Never mind. Get him, Valkyrie! Fuck him up! Return from whence you came. Eh, we don't need to overkill them. We'll save the overkill for bosses because it's funnier that way. Well, they were rather annoying. Jeez, Tawanda. I probably should spend a battle uh, using heal. Unfortunately, um, outside of battle, we can't really use abilities to get our health back. Kind of a weird limitation, but that's because you know they're not really casting with magic, like MP systems. So to save on potions, I have to heal to side, in battle. My noble Ein no quarter. Um, unfortunately, by falling on an enemy, we start with exhaustion. So Jolanda can't cast. This is uh, one of the biggest reasons you want to initiate combat with a sword slice. Thankfully, heal is very effective. 80% of your life restored. Just a flat percentage. Oh no, the zombie hit me. And now I hit the zombie. <laughs> That was too easy. What's next? It's too easy. Can I hear a three easy, baby? Three easy. Ah. Come on. Yeah. All right. Thankfully, the uh, third one didn't fall on us. <laughs> to my side, my noble Ein Herriard. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the gas easy. first. Uh, I dropped the combo. I need to do Freya a little bit earlier. That was too easy. What's next? I think what I really need is Valkyrie's second attack. I think that one is a good knockout. Yeah! Damn it. To my side, my I missed the platform. No mercy. Yeah! I fucked that up. Uh, Ongrim, kill the monkey. Finishing strike. Final blast. I like how my attacks are dealing like hundreds of damage, and then Freya over here does like 8,000. It's a little overpowered. Yeah, 
Yeah, baby. Try and block this. You can't. And then we finish it up. Whoop. Drop the combo. Whatever, dude. One day I must face Brahms. We that's way too early to be talking about Brahms, uh, Lennis. Alright, let's try this again. This time with less uh, falling off of uh, the platform. Oh, I didn't go high enough was the problem. Alright. So, I think this is right before the boss, so we're gonna go ahead and save. Come. Why do you disturb me? It is my task to hunt those creatures who prey upon the living. Abomination, you have no place in this world. Hunt, you say? You amuse me. Very well then. Let us see if you have the strength to match your boastful words. I will not participate in the battle. Let us. Let me witness your power. Use this sword. It will allow you to do a triple combo attack. This is like, I guess, the tutorial of multiple hits. Dragon servants. They're masters of defense. We'll have to break through their guard with a combo attack. Yep, that's a guard crush. They got fucked up. I mean... <laughs> fucking... <laughs> the way the, the vampire cast spells just... Snap. You missed me, vampire. All right. <laughs> he just like flips his hair. Nah, it's not a good combo. I think we can kill him on the next round. All right, so next round with Jolanda, we should be able to finish the boss off. Yeah, here we go, baby! Never one to Leslie his ass. Oh, by the way, Valkyrie has multiple ultimates depending on her weapon. Is it over? They grow tired of me. Finishing strike. Final blast. I love a good fight. Bottom up. Hell yeah. have been released. We have no reason to remain here. Now that is the GG XP, baby. Now here's another mechanic of dungeons. They have treasure at the end. But Odin is uh, a little bit greedy. Uh, in fact, he claims any and all artifacts. 
And uh, if we don't return it, man, our evaluation level is gonna drop. But uh, I think uh, I think we'll I think we'll just kind of hold on to those. Jewel of the Blade, Grimrist. Uh, I think uh, I think we'll hold on to this too. Good shit. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Unfortunately, we have to actually run all the way to the exit. Alright, sometimes the platforming can be a little bit silly. Bunny Valkyrie. Go over here. Gotta get over here and jump over there. And go up here. And then down here. And then out this way. I believe we got pretty much everything in this dungeon. No real reason to ever come back. Um, let's make another save point here. We shall not meet for some time. Just a moment. When the Einherjar have been trained and are sent to Asgard, at that point you will have finished the first cycle of your appointed tasks. I understand. The time you are allotted is not limitless, Lenneth. Just as time passes on Earth below, time in Asgard also grinds steadily onward. At set intervals, I will undertake to inform you of events taking place in Asgard. Thank you. I understand. Yep, 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 yep. I have one more word for you. That warrior. I don't think he's suited to become a hero. You mean Arngrim? Yes. Of course he has brawn enough, but does he have what it takes inside? The stuff that makes up an Einherjar is much more than strength alone. Good luck. Taking leave of the Einherjar is but a temporary measure. Oh, and Lenneth, if you don't understand the plan for training of the Einherjar, or for the battle, then ask him or her your questions. Well then, we will meet at Ragnarok. Damn. Game made in 1999 still has a uh, non-binary character, even if it is a random NPC entity. Right, let's save actually after that cutscene. Oh. up here, and out we go. Alright, 220 periods remaining until the end of the world. Well, that's fucking ominous. Yeah, so basically anytime we visit a dungeon or a character, basically anytime we visit anywhere in the world, um, it's going to cost one period, and at the end of the periods, basically that chapter ends, we'll get like a little, little summary thing that'll happen. Um, but we need to send... Sorry, I didn't mean to press that. Unfortunately, by being...
being the nature of a Valkyrie, you know, taking the souls of the dead. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of tragedy and sad stories that are going on. Um... But as uh, Freya was telling us, uh, our, our job is to basically get our warriors, train them, and then send them up to fight. We can send one to two per uh, chapter. Um, I'm going to be trying to send two, just one part flex, one part um, because I can. Let's see. Where is it? So, on transfer... Where is it? There should be a thing that tells us what we need to send. Or maybe that's going to be next chapter. Yeah, I think starting next chapter, we'll basically get a list of requirements. Um... But, to send people, we need them to have a certain hero value. Arngrim is not sendable. We can't send him. Um, the requirements are going to get more and more strict and specific uh, later in the game. Um, so I think Jolanda is only possible to be sent during like the first couple chapters. And I'm actually going to try and send her this chapter. I believe there's... So that's... I believe there's two characters we have to recruit still. So let me do more spiritual concentrations. All right, so this is going to be a dungeon. Which dungeon is this? Soul Day Catacombs. I'm trying to be a little optimal because we need uh, that evaluation score um, is very important to pay attention to. Um, we can't have it hit zero, but also we don't want it at max. And the thing is, is sending characters up increases it. However, it does not go over 100. All right, so here's another character. So that's two characters. I think those are just going to be the two. Oh, there's a third character. All right. Or nothing. All right, so we have... Oh, that's right, it uses a period to do spiritual concentration. That's fine. Um, we don't need all of the periods per round. Uh, although in the future, I know there's going to be some chapters that are going to be very tight, and I can't really waste any. So I'll probably remember, I'll try and remember to save before doing that and make sure I don't waste any. Um, before we go and recruit any of the characters... Um... This, that's Camille. We want to go back to Artolia real quick. Ah! Hey, Duke, welcome on by. Hope you're having a great Saturday. I do like how when Lenneth is in the mortal world, she doesn't have her battle armor. She kind of has her casual clothes and uh, she has got some drip. He spins. Yeah. Love the new profile pics. Ah. I thought, uh, I thought it was about time for me to change it up. And I was kind of, I don't know, I was kind of not really liking that little green circle thing around it. And I think Velvi did a really cute little chibi picture. Uh, whoops. I meant to go to Arngrim's house. Do a little breaking and entering. Uh, hmm. Arngrim's brother isn't here for some reason.
My father gave it to me years ago. You're welcome to use it. You got the Dragon Slayer. So, I've been saying that Arngrim is very uh, guts coated, like from Berserk. But like, if you didn't believe me then, like, come on. He has the Dragon Slayer at home. Like, come on. <laughs> Gives you a hunk of art, basically. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if uh, you can maybe think of why a dragon slayer would be useful, you know, perhaps against any dragon enemies. Um, okay, let me save before I accidentally use up any more periods. Um... Cool. 